The views and opinions expressed by the participants on this show are not necessarily those of Stewart Information Services Corporation, Stewart Title, or Stewart Insurance. Before you make any investment, you should seek the advice of your investment advisor or attorney. Whether you're a real estate broker, realtor, homeowner, buyer, or seller, everything matters when it comes to real estate. This is Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title. Stuart Title's Bill Napick and guests open the door to what really matters in owning, buying, and selling real estate. And now, Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title, brought to you by Stuart Insurance. Here to inform, entertain, and inspire, Bill Napick. Welcome to the show. It is Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title. Thank you for joining us. We have a great show today. As always, I want to first remind you, like I do, and that is to tune into our YouTube channel or see this show by simply going to stuart.com forward slash radio. That's right. You can see and hear the show, and you could go, I guess, about two years or so to the show archives, and that's right. We have videos of each show. You can hear the audio, of course, so right there at stuart.com forward slash radio. Today, we have a unique show in that once again, we have top producing realtors. We're going to hear what they're doing for 2023, how they're successful. But also, this is a show first. We have never had anyone on the show. Every home out there, I guess almost, has a water heater. This is the first time we have a man representing a water heater company, and that's all they do. So we have a fantastic show. And let's get down to business as we welcome Charlie Kriegel. He's the broker owner of Win Hill Advisors. Charlie, welcome to the show. Glad to be back. Thanks for having me again. And it's been a while. Here you are, first time at our KPRC location. We've been here a couple years now, so we're glad you're here. Windhill Advisors, Charlie, let's tell people about your company. Sure. So, um, you know, we are a full-service brokerage. We work with most of the institutional investors across the state. We're kind of unique in that we're in the build-to-rent space, and we're doing developing, providing capital, either debt or equity for some of our development partners. So we're kind of unique that we're kind of a soup to nuts when we work with developers and our build-to-rent clients. So let's tell people the build-to-rent. Let's explain that a little bit as people think, hey, buying, I want to buy a house, I want to sell a house, build-to-rent, what's that? Yeah, so this came about about four years ago when some of the investor partners, instead of buying single-family homes, renting them, and putting renters in there, they found it a little bit more advantageous to build single-family homes for rental purposes only. So instead of just building one or two homes, they're building 70 to 150 homes, gated communities, amenitized, and uh, they will just rent those communities, stabilize them, and just retain them for the next five or seven years as full rentals. So when we look right here as we're well into 2023, how is that part of the market going that you're apparently an area of focus for you? Yeah, sure. So that's probably going to be one of the fastest growing segments in our market, even outpacing industry and multifamily. So we're pretty excited to be in that space and uh, working with a lot of institutional partners to grow that business. And how do the, the partners find you? Are they already from Texas, or are you seeing people from everywhere else? I have a oh, feeling I know. <laughs> yeah, ev everywhere else. Uh, we've been on the institutional side for the last decade, so these are relationships that I built and cultivated over the last several years. Most of those same parties that were buying single-family homes have now just kind of branched off and started their own build to rent divisions, raised capital. I think there was over uh, $300 billion raised for build to rent communities over the next three years. And so for f those following along, as far as how this reflects the Houston economy versus, let's say, other cities, we might be somewhere else. I don't know, not to pick on Indiana or, or anywhere else. Are, this is another unique part of our economy. Would it be safe to say that this is a, a a driver to indicate the health of our Houston economy, that people want to be here, that they want to invest larger sums of money. Would that be yeah, safe? Absolutely safe to say. I mean, Houston and Texas in general has always been a uh, laser target focus for most of these investors. But, uh, you know, some of the larger corporations like Juan Bridge and some of the other ones that you see in the paper have really, you know, taken this bull by the horns and really made a big splash in the Texas market over the last year. So I'm going to guess that 2023 is looking pretty good. It You're looked, excited. <laughs> look, looking really good. We've we we have so many different projects on the horizon that it's it's going to be a good year. So as far as the other thing I want to tell people before we started to record, that is you're right here in Houston, Texas. We're talking about your area of focus, but outside of Houston, you go beyond as well. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I have another brick and mortar office in Arlington. Uh, we work all throughout the Sunbelt states. We have several projects in Arizona. 
couple in Philly and a few in Nashville, Tennessee. So we're working through the Sun Belt states, but you know Texas is our our home base. You know Nashville, Tennessee. Last year, I've heard so much about Nashville. We had a Nashville realtor on, and that's a very exciting state as well. Of course, no state income tax and a little bit cooler weather. Maybe I may go there in about 10 years, but Nashville's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. If you haven't been in Nashville recently, it's completely changed. Um, it, the, the whole environment around Nashville is just incredible. Well, let's tell people also. Now, right here, you're in Houston, Texas with several agents, many agents, actually. How is are you also helping buyers and sellers right here? Oh, absolutely. It's a full service broker. So, you know, we still have a really big footprint in the luxury market, uh, having almost 100 agents uh, underneath me you know, kind of allows us to you know, handle multiple markets and different areas from first time home, you know, buyers to luxury home buyers to investors. We kind of encompass it all. And tell us, Charlie, real estate, why did you get into real estate to begin with? What was it that pulled you in? I'm just curious. <sighs> sure. So I, I got the bug about, gosh, it had to be almost, I've been in real estate now for almost 19 years. So a little bit before that, I got the bug where I bought my first investment property for about $50,000 cash. You know, dumped about twenty grand into it, made a real large profit, and I'm like, "Wow, this was easy." I want to do this all the time. Do this all the time, <laughs> yeah. Little to know what headaches that 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 would cause, but yeah, it was. I got the bug a long time ago. So here you are. Also, you do some extra things as well. I mean, you're an enterprising fellow to say the least. Give us an idea if there are any of those other things that you do that are relating to real estate. Yeah, so I have a book with Forbes Publishing on Bill to Rent. It's coming out in September. We also have a TV show with Designing Spaces and HGTV on Bill to Rent. That'll come out in the next three or four months. You know, my wife does photography. And, you know, we just, like I said, if it's... If Vanessa. It's, yeah, Vanessa, my wife, does photography. She's probably the best photographer in the business. And so if it, anything real and estate she's related... she's listening right now. Yeah, and she's listening, so that she helps. Just check the box. <laughs> okay, thanks, Charlie. I'm happy life, listening. happy life, yes. That's exactly. right. No, her, I've seen her work, and it, it is incredible, and she's an incredible individual as well. Thank you. So as far as 2023, again, to do so many things, you're in leadership, you're leading agents, you have brick and mortars around and other interests. Just give us an idea, just from a success standpoint, Charlie, how do you manage to manage to have made your plan for 2023 and to have a little bit of work-life balance, balance along the way as well, how do you manage it all or balance it all? I think it all comes down to culture and uh, who you have around you. I've, I built a really amazing team, amazing culture within Wind Hill. So it's kind of a, my support group or my lifeline. So everyone kind of rows in, this, in the same direction and understands you know, our belief system and our goals. So really having that team around you to kind of help through those times really makes it a little bit easier for me to go out and handle some of these bigger projects, these larger developers, and get out there in that space to drive more, I guess, revenue and investment dollars and clients to our brokerage. In the name Windhill, where did that come from? Oh, wow. We, we struggle for months, but it's based on Win, uh, Winston Churchill. So we combine Winston Churchill into Windhill, and we use a lot of his quotes and things like that from Winston Churchill in our brokerage. That's awesome. Give us an idea of some of the other things that motivate you from a from a planning standpoint. And I mean, I would think every day you're excited, but on the day that you're not excited, how do you, I mean, many of us, even though we love what we do every now and then, it's like, wait a minute, I might want to do something else today. I mean, how do you get around that? A lot of people struggle with that. I guess it's just my calendar that keeps me so busy from, you know, the, the time frames that I have with meeting with my build to rent partners and my meetings, my investment group meetings, my coaching, my training, my mentorship, uh, my Google calendar that doesn't really allow for much free time, uh, but it kind of keeps me focused and allows me to really uh, handle most of the workload without too many distractions. And when you say coaching, is that coaching where you're coaching people and or are you receiving coaching? Sure, uh, both. Uh, I, I really don't think that we can be a, the ultimate professional unless we're reaching out to outside resources. So going to masterminds, going to some of these IMN conferences, speaking on some of these panels, and then always, you know, coaching is big. You know, we we do our, our business planning with every single agent. We coach every Tuesday. And we really try to stay in front of our agents to provide that knowledge that they really need. Because in today's market, you really have to have a very strong mentor. And then you also have to have some coaches that are in the same space as you that will look at your business from a 40-foot perspective to give you kind of some 
some help when you need it. And one of the other things, so we do want to remind people you're helping buyers and sellers. If someone's out there listening and say, hey, Charlie sounds like a sharp guy. I want him to list or sell my home. You do that. But one of the other things I know is that, a lot, especially in the luxury market, one of the things that's very important is discretion. And I, I know a few people that you have helped that maybe I'm not supposed to know you know that you helped them, but, but you have that discretion. And that's very important in certain parts of the market. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Technology over the last two years has really allowed us to do the video walkthroughs uh, with some of the technology and then building a database. Now you can pull data and skip trace to where it allows us to market properties just as well off market to our resources as it does on market. So a lot of sellers that either want really discretionary sales, we can either sell to our investors that are looking for those opportunities with all cash closing in 14 days, or you know we can use some of our off, uh, off market resources to promote those properties so they can have a very quiet, discretionary and quick sale. So we're talking with Charlie Kriegel. He's the broker owner of Wind Hill Advisors. Charlie, before we close this segment, what else do you want people to know? Uh, you know, we're, we have home base in Arlington. Uh, we have another brick and mortar here in Houston. If anyone is looking to invest in real estate this coming year, we, we're taking on mom and pop investors. Uh, we work with all the largest institutional. So anyone that has just got questions about, I've got some land, I need to develop it. What are my exit strategies? I'm looking to invest in real estate this year, but what are the going to be the best opportunities out there? Those are the kind of people that I'd love to talk with and give them some advice, uh, give them a little bit of knowledge and see if it's worked for them. And we also want to mention as we have opportunities to learn about other markets like Nashville, Tennessee, or anywhere else, but you have your ear to the ground, certainly in Arlington, Texas. Tell, Give us some word on that. How busy are they there? What's the market like? Are people moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area like they are here? Yeah, I mean, Dallas is just as hot, if not hotter, than the Houston market Might right now. Might be hotter. I think it is a little bit, a little bit wow. hotter. Uh, you're still running across inventory issues. So in, in DFW area, you're still looking at two and a half or less months of inventory. So prices have stayed consistent like they have in Houston. We really haven't seen inventory increases, but uh, you're seeing developments all across the DFW area going into Claiborne, some of the outside tertiary markets that we work in. So it's just, if not more, about the same amount of growth that we're seeing here in Houston. And one other thing, realtors and almost everybody else loves dogs. So if they tune in and look at you on Facebook or even on my Facebook page, they'll see a dog or two. And along the through the years, <laughs> I've kept track of you and your wife, the dogs. You, you have the French Bulldog. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, what a photogenic, he, <laughs> photogenic breed. But all dogs are great in my yeah. mind. No, we, we allow our agents to bring their animals to the office. So we always have our vendor partners that come by and have to say hello to Winston and give there him treats, go. all that good stuff. He, you know, almost making him overweight a little bit with all the treats that he gets. Well, Winston's a popular name for dogs, <laughs> that's for sure. Charlie, let's tell people how they can reach out to you. Sure. So you can go to my website, Windhill Advisors or Windhill Advisors Kirby.com. You can easily find me anywhere on Google, on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, my personal cell phone is 832 496 2614. Feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text message with any of your investing questions. 832 496 2614. And if you tune into the YouTube video, you'll see Charlie and I go to the same barber. That's it. Stewart.com forward slash radio. Thank you, Charlie, for being with us. Thank you very much. In today's litigious society, it is imperative to have the proper insurance to offset the many risks facing your business, especially if you're a real estate broker. Your errors and omissions and cyber liability insurance can help limit the threat of these risks if you know what to look for. Not sure if your insurance addresses the risks facing your business. Contact Stewart Insurance to be confident your brokerage can withstand these risks. Stewart Insurance, 866-798-2827. StewartInsurance.com. That's StewartInsurance.com or call 866-798-2827. As we continue, another top realtor and great guy. His name is Murad Fiki. He is with Keller Williams. Murad, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. How's it going? This is great. <laughs> well, one of the things, Murad, we want to start off and thank you for your service as a veteran. You've been on the show before, Marines, Navy. Thank you so much for your service. And anyone listening, we thank those that are serving and have served. I mean, it's a tremendous thing that you, you and others have done and are doing. Oh, I love it. I love veterans and just serving the, this country has been a great honor of my life. Well, let's tell people about your company, Murad. 
Yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I've definitely focused on the luxury side of the market, high-end luxury homes, but I sell everything. Uh, I service the entire greater Houston metropolitan area. And you're with Keller Williams, right? Yes. So that's a tremendous organization. And one of the oh, yeah. things about Keller Williams I, I always enjoy is hearing about this training that the ongoing training because in real estate and anything else we've always have to learn right <laughs> there's always something new to learn oh yeah i mean training is great at keller williams you know it's it's a training based company and uh the education is incredible but not just that just really focusing on teaching agents how to build your business that's been incredible with keller williams a lot of companies will will just teach the basics of real estate but they don't teach you how to build your business which is why nine out of 10 realtors quit in the first year. And that's right. One of the things that mm -hmm. unless you, other than people watching TV shows about realtors and, and making yeah. it look easy, the real reality is you are in business for yourself and you're building that business. Let's tell people one of the things I think about you and some others in the real estate world is regardless of the market conditions, you have your plan, you're, you've built and planned your business. So whether it's two years ago, a year ago, or today's reality, you're prepared for that. Let's tell people how you do that and stay motivated in these various markets. Well, a big difference with me and a big add-on is that I've spent the last 10 years building my social media following, building my social media presence, and, and just focusing on digital marketing and advertising. So, um, you know, a majority of realtors do the typical same advertising, which is print, mailers, and such. And I've I've taken my business online and really focused heavily on digital advertising. Well, that's why I've built a following of over 200,000 followers online. And I continue to grow that because social media and digital advertising is the way of the future. And so, you know, me investing heavily on that in the past has paid off big, but not only that, the people who win in the end are the clients that I serve because we're maximizing the exposure of their properties to an online audience that your average agent just doesn't know how to do. So then when I list my home with you, you have some extra bells and whistles for some extra oh, exposure yeah. for that particular property or several properties. Oh, 100,000 percent. I can I can bring a whole new level of exposure to your property. And I love doing that because at the end of the day, you benefit. And that's the most important thing. Well, one of the things, too, as we think about the ever-changing yeah. real estate market, social media, I mean, that's not easy to get your head around. In some ways, people think, oh, you got Facebook, and this is how I think. Now, I know there's Instagram and TikTok. I don't use those. But, but for me, I put the segments on Facebook, so I'm familiar with that, and with YouTube. But those – even those two platforms are often changing. So how do you stay on top of it to know that you're using all the things that they now have in these various social media pl platforms? Oh, it's because I'm on the forefront. That's a great question. They are constantly changing. Google's constantly changing. YouTube, Facebook, yeah, LinkedIn, Google. Yeah, Twitter. <laughs> so I'm on all of those platforms. And, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit later. But if anybody wants to connect with me, I tell, I tell the audience to – Pick your favorite platform and let's connect there because I'm on Twitter, I'm on YouTube, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok. And um, how long have you been on TikTok? Oh, wow. Um, probably 18 months okay. or so. Like I jumped on as early as I could and I just wanted to learn the platform. And that's the thing is every platform has a different strategy has a different audience. There's people who are on LinkedIn and they're not on Facebook. There's people who are on Twitter and are not on Facebook. So everybody kind of has their That's own right. uh, their own platform that they enjoy, and I want to talk to everybody. So as far as it, it, geographically speaking, now, is there an area that you focus on or happen to be in more often than others? Or let's tell people how you I live you in Memorial, it. and so I definitely focus in, on, on the villages um, and then Bel Air, the Heights, inside the loop. But – uh, really, I, I service the entire greater Houston metropolitan area. So, I mean, I've got properties that have sold in Conroe. Uh, we have a listing right now in Conroe that we're pushing. And I've sold properties all the way to Galveston and everything in between. 
So um, I, I just love being of service and helping people in the greater Houston metropolitan area. And as you mentioned, Memorial and the Villages, I, I'll tell people if they're out and about, and maybe they'll might stop at a restaurant or so, Jonathan's the Rub, you might just see Murad right there at the table next to you like I did a few weeks ago. <laughs> I said, there's Murad. Yeah, oh, I love that place. That's and I'm spot. actually, I live right around the corner from there. So yeah, I'm there all the time. Well, and that's fun when you're in the neighborhood that you serve because certain places like that, you'll be running into people right and left all of us oh for sure i bump into people it's a good way to promote business all the time yeah (laughs) great way to connect reconnect with people that haven't spoke to in a while no doubt about it well let's uh, one of the things that i remember about you and i'm going back many years ago at a street not too far from here san felipe by the way i think it was Mm -hmm. but where i saw one of your signs now i'm going back every bit of four years and let's say, and this this is a general question about, let's call it challenging properties. Yeah. Maybe the word problem. But as a realtor from time to time, all realtors will have to list a, chal- a, a property more challenging than others. And, for example, this property to me from afar looked like it was challenging because it was on a busy street, cars all the time. Oh, yeah. And I saw your sign listing Murad Fiki right there Mm -hmm. in front of this house. The house was nice, but I'm thinking as the realtor, when you have something that might be a negative, how do you market that kind of product, that kind of home? Every property has a buyer who's going to love that property. There you go. We now could some, we could emblazon that in stone. Yeah. Every property has a buyer. Yeah, I love it. Sure. Somebody's going to love it and somebody's not going to love it, right? So we're looking for the person who's going to love this specific kind of property. And then every property has certain challenges that need to be overcame. So so how do we overcome these challenges? We look at, you know, what are the positives about the property and what are the mo- negatives? This is on a major street. You know, you're you might have someone who says, look, I don't want to be on a major street. But then you have someone else who says, I have easy access. You know, I'm, I'm on a major street. I, I just jump on and, and I can zoom out to where I need to go. So different strokes for different folks. And that's who we're looking for. Um, I've been known to take on challenging properties and get them sold. So I, I'm happy to do that. And then I, my unique focus on social media and digital advertising brings a whole new set of eyeballs to these properties and often we do get them sold in fact in any category of life i always like the individual that says i want a challenge and sometimes those those challenges well there's no doubt challenges when we overcome a challenge and we're successful that, that builds up that muscle our sales muscle in this case and we're excited about it oh yeah no doubt about oh yeah i love challenging properties and like i said um I take on challenges. I love uh, helping people out, and especially when there's been and and the the property in question that you you're discussing. I, you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. Years ago. He was uh, he'd been trying to sell his, that property on and off for about eight years, so he hadn't sold it. And then you know I jumped in and helped him get it sold, and and that was just a huge reward for me helping somebody move on to the next great stage of their life. And that's one of the things realtors do, like yourself, day in and day out. Yeah, you're doing the mechanics of selling, marketing, and helping them find a home. But but really, when it boils down, you're helping someone move to that next chapter in their life, even if it's an investor. Absolutely. Move on to the next great chapter of their life. And oftentimes, they have a ton of equity that they need to liquidate so they can go on and do something else or buy another house or reinvest or whatever the case is. And also, one of the things I know about you, you're highly motivated. What are some of the things that keep you going when you're thinking of your plan as you did here for 2023? Yeah, it's ever-changing. You, you're going to modify it as you go. But what were some of the mindset things that you thought about, I don't know, October, November, whenever you thought, hey, 2023 is here, I'm going to attack it? Definitely one of the things that just gets me motivated and inspired is growing my audience. You know, I believe, especially in today's digital age, we have all these tools and platforms that allow us to really expand our audience and grow a base of supporters who would, you know, love, like, follow, share, whatever it is that you're doing. And so when people don't use these tools or use them effectively, it's just such a disservice. And, and knowing that every day I wake up, I say, okay, how can I get the world to know Murad Fiki? That is my main focus. How can I get the world and, and grow my audience and get known 
in a major way. And so that's why, you know, I, I really focus heavily on the online space and I love doing that. And that makes me, you know, excited. And then, you know, it also helps my clients get their property sold and move on to the next great chapter of their life. And here you are right on the radio today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many listeners are listening, but there's a few, right? That's great. There's no doubt about that. So as far as 2023, your outlook here, let's say January is almost behind us. So how are we looking for the rest of the year? I mean, it's going to be a great year. Definitely, we didn't expect the interest rates to to double in such a short time as they did. Uh, I've never seen that. Um, so it's going to be a, a unique year. But with that, you got to roll with the punches and then shift the shift the paradigm, shift what it is that we're planning on doing, and adjust, adapt, and overcome. That's what I learned in the Marines. We we adapt and overcome. The Marines, Marines yeah. and Navy. But when you, did you go to Marine boot camp? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. was that like? It, it, it was a bullet intense. pointer. To, <laughs> was it, it was like 13 movies? weeks of intensity. Okay, so was there ever yeah. a point where you're saying, wait a second, why did I sign up? Oh, of course. Absolutely. Because they're get really there, there to test you. Yeah, and you get there and it's just a huge shock because I, I was in high school a week ago, right? And now I'm over here. At Marine Corps boot camp, and I'm like, what am I doing here? But it was probably the best decision I made in my entire life. And I would, I would guess, and you could tell me, there, that that experience has helped your business life and every other part of, of your world. For sure. I mean, to be able to go 100%. through that boot camp and then come into real estate, you're like, come on. It's, yeah, even it's, real estate has its know, own boot camp, so in, to speak. In business world, business is tough, right? And being in business for yourself is really tough. And that's why a lot of people don't make it and they quit. And so learning the perseverance, the the no matter what we will get through and just pushing through and, and, and pushing through these difficult times, that's what the Marines have taught me. And even uh, having a sense of humor, right? You got to have yeah. a sense of humor in life to get through anything and to, and to thrive. Yeah, 100%. Marad, before we close the segment, what else do you want people to know? Hey, I would love to connect with you on your favorite social media platform, and whether that's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Uh, let's connect. Let's keep the conversation going. I would love to see you. And I'm also uh, at HoustonLuxuryRealEstate.com. That's my, my website, HoustonLuxuryRealEstate.com, which I'll add is the premier website for luxury properties in Houston, Texas. And you can also hit me on the cell phone, 832-610-4290. Again, the phone number is? 832-610-4290 or HoustonLuxuryRealEstate.com. Thanks for being with us. And once again, thank you and others for their service, thank your you. service. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> All right, everybody. If you're ready, we now have a show first. This is the first time we have had anyone in the water heater business and that's strictly water heaters by the way his name is joe navarro the company is texans water heaters joe welcome to the show thank you so much for having me bill and by the way you put a water heater in my house just last week mm -hmm. and so far so good mm -hmm. and i was impressed at the precision and the systematic way the guys put it in and, and took the old one out and put the new one in well thank you so much with each installation we actually uh, get a little better that's so, awesome. Uh, it's been quite thousands of water heaters after the fact. And uh, thousands. yours, uh, that's correct. Well, let's tell people, first of all, Texans Water Heaters. Let's tell people a little bit about how you started the company way back. All right. Well, I started this company about eight years ago. Um, I was working for uh, the big uh, uh, companies in Houston um, that are around town. And uh, soon I began to notice that uh, water heaters was actually a very popular if not uh, the uh, job for plumbers to do, uh, it's uh, well paid and uh, it's an in and out job doesn't take too long. So I just thought of it one day, maybe I should just uh, decide to uh, focus on water heaters. And uh, it's uh, again, it's been a while now and uh, I decided to pick, choose a name for the company, uh, something that uh, Houstonians can relate to. So Texans was uh, was the name that I came up with, and uh, now we're just uh, focusing installing water heaters. Been doing it for a while, and uh, it's been uh, very very uh, you know good for for us. Well, one of the things I, I I think about not just in as I looked at your model as I got to talk to you when you were mm -hmm. putting the water heater in, 
is that the in any business, but what you, what you're doing, you're focusing. You know, plumbers do all all sorts of things, but you go in, you focus. Hey, here's a new water heater. We take the old one out, put the new one in, and we're gonna. And correct me if I'm wrong. There's basically two categories. We'll call it the conventional water heater, which is a tank, and then the in the last few years the tankless is also something that you're providing tankless heaters as well that's correct so tankless has become very popular and uh well in most homes we know uh what you know what 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 uh, uh houses come with either a 40 or 50 gallon so it's very easy and plus if uh the house is maybe built in the year 2000 and uh so now we pretty much know that all water heaters are pretty much you know, standard, and uh, it's a process that doesn't take too long to strategize and become good at. So when customers actually give us a call, they uh, wonder if uh, a conventional water heater or a tankless system is going to be best for their for their home, and that's when we like to talk about it. A lot of customers choose a uh, tankless system because maybe they're uh, running out of hot water, maybe they're not comfortable with 80 gallons of water sitting up in their attic. So that's going to be a good candidate for a tank system, a customer that uh, wants endless hot water and uh, wants uh, also to get rid of the big tanks sitting in their attic. Well, quite frankly, it's kind of you're reading my mind. The house I have before this house, I had 240 gallons in my attic, and I used to travel every other week, let's say, and I used to think, man, I got those two tankless heaters. It's all like having terrorists in their, in your mm-hmm. attic. You don't know when they're going to strike. They could mm-hmm. fail at any moment. So I said, I'm going tankless. So my previous house had the tankless, and then the new house I'm in now, you put in a, a con- we'll call it conventional water heater. And when I look at your business model, the thing that I find interesting, we could look out this window here from the radio and look at any neighborhood. Every house has a water heater. The business model that you have, I think, is phenomenal in that it's something everybody has and needs, and they wear out, right? Everybody needs a water heater. Actually, the life expectancy of a water heater is 10 years. Every 10 years, someone's going to be looking for a water heater. Uh, Water heaters have a piece of metal inside the tank. It's called a sacrificial rod. That sacrificial rod or that anode rod will be completely disintegrated at 10 years. And guess what? What's next is the tank. So you don't want that tank to leak while you're not home because it's devastating. It almost looks like a Especially thunderstorm. Especially if it's in the attic, yeah. Especially, it's- yeah, yeah. We, we show up to houses where it looks like a thunderstorm. And I tell you, it's a system that's under pressure. You don't want to be um, – you want to be proactive at 10 years. 10 years is a life expectancy. Uh, go ahead and start looking for replacement because, again, it's a game that you're going to lose. Well, I will tell you about that. The, the heater that you put in this t- at my house, I wouldn't have even thought to put a water heater in, in except one night a couple weeks ago I heard this noise. I thought it was like a raccoon or something in my attic, and it was a water heater making noise. And my water heater, I think you said, was 20 years old. Mm-hmm. And two life cycles. The, yeah, two life cycles. And then when we went up to look at it, there was actually a small leak that could, if I if I let it go, it, again, it could have been devastating. So, and the neighbor next to me, mm-hmm. he found a leak in his. So he wants your number, by the way. Yeah. But anyway, they leak maybe slowly, but there could be a time they but they actually have a, a big big leak. Is that um, correct? That's correct. That's correct. Again, it's a system that's under pressure, and uh, any given. A uh, second, a leak can turn very aggressive, and it can spill over your your pan, and then it can cause a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, it's a lot better paying a two uh, percent than paying a twenty thousand dollar bill to your insurance for an insurance claim or for some property damage uh, repairs. So, so definitely uh, stay on top of it. It's a system that we really don't. It's out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. But uh, uh, we uh, actually. Uh, Tell customers to keep an eye on those water heaters, especially at that at that ten year mark. Especially when they're in the attic. Now, as I've especially. looked around here, especially the last two years, when I look at new homes, a lot of the new construction homes have them in the garage, which I think is a great thing, right? And then a lot of them have the tankless. And quite frankly, I've seen quite a few tankless in the garages. Mm-hmm. And to me, I, I I just like that because you could see them, like you said. People and, and we'll use this segment to tell people, hey, just go up in your attic. If you have it up there, take a look. And if you see that rust like I did mm-hmm. in the corner, that shows that there's a leak. And just have someone look at it, and most likely you're going to need to get it changed. 
Well, even at two years, you're always going to want to call a uh, plumber uh, to come out there and flush your units, uh, take a look uh, around, make sure they uh, don't notice corrosion, uh, make sure all the vent, the vent, especially the vent, uh, releases carbon monoxide. And a lot of customers, when it's time for us to replace their water heaters, they actually had their roof uh, replaced before. And guess what? The roofers didn't put that vent pipe back together. So there was a lot of carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide is very dangerous, is a silent killer. And uh, you're going to want to at least have a, a service technician go out there uh, every other year to just inspect the unit and, uh, again, uh, flush them out at least every other year. And one of the things that impressed me when I called you to say, hey, I'm interested in a water heater, you had yes, like sir. a no, it, hey, you have, it's like you had standard pricing. Oh, you want a tankless? It's going to be this much if you have a conventional it's this much. So it wasn't like a big comp. Well, I got to come out and look at it. You pretty much, that's the the beauty of you do water yeah, heaters all right. day long. It's not like it's a, here we go. You want the cheeseburger or do you want cheeseburger and fries? That's that, correct. That's go. correct. Again, uh, we know the system. We know everybody's home is very similar. Uh, if it's a 20-year-old home it's uh, and it's been 20 years uh, your Too water long. heater needs to be replaced. Uh, yeah, so we make it very simple. Uh, and again, the prices are very standard. It's not as complicated as other plumbing companies make it out to be. We make it very easy. You call us, we give you an estimate, you agree with the price, we'll do the job. Plus, we'll also choose a product that we know is going to hold up uh, for many years to come and you not worry about hot water for a very long time. And when you see Joe's truck pull up, it is the water heater that has the cowboy hat on top of it because it's Texans water heaters, That's right, correct. Joe? We have the Texas tank on all Texas our units. Tank. And when we show up, you'll know it's water heater time. And uh, right. we call it the ice cream van of water heaters. There it is. <laughs> so ice cream. I like that. So we come equipped with uh, six water heaters in each van. Eat every morning our plumbing uh, staff loads up those water heaters with uh, a variety of water heaters. Uh, again, it's not complicated. We know either you have a 40-gallon, a 50-gallon, or a tank of system in your home. And that's what we stock in each of our vans. So when you call us, we're going to be very well prepared and ready to uh, replace your water heater it's, without you having to waste too much time. It's that easy. Texans mm -hmm. Water Heaters. Joe, let's tell people how they can reach out to you. Please give us a call at 713-364-4616. Or you can go online at texanswaterheaters.com. Fill out a form. We'll contact you uh, immediately. We know water heaters is a very it's important. Uh, important and they can cause a lot of damage. So we will reach back to you as soon as possible. And we can install your water heater same day or the following day. And the phone number a little bit slower is 713-364-4616. 713-364-4616. Thank you, Joe Navarro. Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title would not be possible without our partner, Stuart Insurance. With a focus in real estate and a special focus on real estate brokers, Stuart Insurance creates insurance plans to address the risks facing our industry today. They invest a significant amount of time helping real estate broker owners offset and manage their risk. Here he is once again, John Bramlett with Stuart Insurance. John? Always a pleasure, Bill. Here we are, man. And water heaters and everything else today. It's a fantastic number, 462. You know, I'm glad I had heated water when I took my shower today. I mean, right there, we forget how the common things in life. No, but until you, and like you said, until you don't have it. Until it doesn't and work. And that, that cold shower is not quite. Ah, uh, sounds like Marine boot camp. That's, a, that, that's, what, that's what they made them take cold showers, I heard. But anyway, it's insurance time. So it's insurance time. Another necessity necessity in life is insurance in Absolutely. all the categories. So let's tell people, what do we want to talk about today? We have a cautionary tale today. A cautionary tale. All right. I was reading uh, an article that was uh, uh, some information put out by uh, businessinsider.com that lawsuits against real estate professionals have increased 9% from 2021 to 2022. Wow. 9% increase in lawsuits against real estate professionals. wonder why. Uh, most of them are based on, off of somebody's, uh, their errors and omissions or professional liability coverage. But basically, it is because of the, the way the market has been the last couple of mm -hmm. years, it, it basically comes down to 
you didn't get enough for my home, or I paid too much for my home, or I didn't do the due diligence that I should have done when I bought my home, and now I'm not happy with it. So, yeah, but they signed the the, the right. But I mean, again, it goes back to what we always talk about: the way I, I feel. feel. Yeah. yeah, it's not. Yeah, I feel felt like you did or didn't. Yeah, yeah, the emotion. Yeah, and the uh, SV, uh, senior vice president with Victor Insurance Management, he expects the uh, an increase in lawsuits this year, for that very, you know, that very reason. You know, it's that, you know, that the, we're starting to see, not necessarily in Texas, but we're starting to see across the country some reduction in the price of homes because of the souring economy, and you're getting, as I talked about, basically it's buyer and seller regret. I didn't get enough. I didn't sell it quick enough. Or instead of selling my home this time last year, I waited. Mm. So the people down the street had 27 offers and sold it for $20,000 over uh, market price. I had five offers and I sold it for market price and I'm upset. So instead of taking the responsibility myself, I'm going to blame it on the the, the, old the real adage, estate profession. The old adage, no one's ever happy. So so if I let's let's take the person that spent 30,000 over the 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 asking price and then they got the deal, then a year later they're saying, "Hey, I'm going to sue my realtor because I why did I have to spend that much?" right? That just it, doesn't even make make it, sense. Well, it doesn't, but or it's the value of the home, you know, I I had to buy it. You know, there were other offers, so I had to make a decision. That's and right. now the home is really not worth what I paid for it. And I'm not going to, am I going to be able to recoup, recoup that money at some point? Well, then from the insurance standpoint, what happens then? Is this a, a an errors and omissions thing or? It is. Generally, generally speaking, that's where the, the claim will fall, that you didn't, as a real estate professional, you did not do uh, your professional responsibility in representing me, whether I was a buyer or a seller. So generally speaking, that would fall on um, somebody's errors and omissions policy. Either you didn't, you didn't disclose enough information to, to allow me to make a good decision, or maybe you know that would be uh, like a non-disclosure. Or maybe they felt like there was negligence that you misrepresented something during uh, the transaction. But yes, it would it would fall in the uh, generally in the areas of of errors and omissions. And see, that's one of the things as far as being the real estate, the challenge of being a real estate professional, again, while the TV shows can make it look easy, there are so many things that a real estate professional has to be on top of, the ever-changing laws, conditions like you're speaking of here, crazy markets where too much, too little, all these things are happening. So I would, I, I will say this to all real estate professionals out there, hey, they're earning every dollar, they're earning every bit and that they make because it's such an important job and people don't see all the things that the professional is doing and having to deal with and having to be on top of to even to have their license year in and year out. Absolutely. And it, and it, it is important that you have that system in those processes in place. Uh, you know, whether you're an insurance advisor at Stewart insurance or you're a real estate professional that you have those processes in place that you follow so that, you know, if there is a situation, then you can you can manage it the best that you possibly can, and and it's it can be some fairly basic things. You know, communicate. You know, document. You know, we talk about that in a couple of the C classes that we offer. Is document everything, communicate, let people know, keep them in the loop about what's going on. So, and then do that historically, so that if you do go to court. One of the first things that you're going to be asked to demonstrate is, so if you said, yes, I, I, I told Bill Knappick this, and Bill I made Bill aware of this on, then one, prove it, but also historically, have you done that? And if you can show historically that you've done that, then you've got a better chance of walking out of there uh, in a favorable position. So always communicate. Documentation. Documentation. Set expectations. This is what the market's like right now. This is what you can expect for this neighborhood. This is what we're seeing happening so that people aren't walking in assuming that they're going to have 27 offers and get $30,000 over uh, the market value price. So set expectations. Um, we talked about document. We talked about communicate. So communicate again. We can't say that enough. If you are a broker, make sure that you have 
professional liability plan. Make sure you have errors and emissions coverage. Um, if you're a, a realtor, a real estate professional, and you're working under a broker, um, make sure that they offer it and you're covered by their plan. Or if they're not, if they don't, and I have a, a client whose broker does not, so she has coverage with me. So she has an individual errors and emissions plan with me uh, because her broker doesn't offer that. So, for example, if it's a, quote, a boutique small broker and I'm the realtor with a small broker, there's a chance that, that that small broker doesn't have the coverage. So if they don't and I still want to work there, I could get the coverage as a real estate realtor from Stewart Insurance. Either, either they don't have the coverage or their plan doesn't it's allow like, them as a named insured. Uh, um, so, uh, you know, most plans that we'll write will um, – cover you know the staff and employees and the realtors that that are represent uh, a broker but you could write a plan where that coverage wasn't there so you know if you don't have it through your broker then it's worth looking at investing in it for yourself and you're helping steward insurance that is helping small and large brokers alike absolutely so we work with real estate professionals all over the u.s um, but as you said they can be uh, you know, a, a team of five, and it could be a team of 500. And I would think if I'm a realtor looking, and this happens, maybe it happened in December, maybe it's happening now, but if I'm a realtor looking to change brokers, this other than, hey, what's my commission? How many meetings do you have? What am I going to learn? What's the training? I want to ask about the liability coverage. Absolutely. I would, I would. I bet a lot of people forget to ask. I think it's worth asking. What is, what types of coverage do you yeah. have? So if, if I'm showing a home, and we knock someone over slips. Yep. someone slips and falls, or I knock over a vase. And we break a vase. Do you have general liability coverage? Um, if I get hurt on the job, do you have workers' compensation coverage? So if I'm out showing a home and I get hurt as your employee, if I am an employee, do you have workers' compensation? Do you have cyber? So in case we get hacked, that we're not out of business. Um, and again, obviously, the 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 primary one to begin with would be: Do they have a professional liability or an errors and emissions? Plan. That's a good word here for the beginning of the year. Well, it but, is, and it's it's scary that it's happening. But because there was such a a crazy change in the marketplace from ex- extremely low interest rates to now relatively high, at least from what we've experienced over the last few years, uh, we still have an issue with inventory. So we still have an issue with pricing. So people are starting to feel underserved or the taken advantage of, and sometimes. Instead of it's saying inflation, they're just di- looking yeah. for another income stream, maybe. Huh? Yeah. yeah, the price of eggs, right? I mean, look at that. That's the thing. Maybe they've had too much time on their hands. They're saying, let's sue. That in itself, that people are thinking about lawsuits more at a 9% level in the case of the real estate, uh, well, that's it, unsettling. It I don't is, like and that, the fact but. that, that you know, the, the leaders, you know, in that industry, you know, Victor, we work with Victor quite a bit uh, for our real estate broker clients, and they're concerned that it's going to increase in, in 2023. So it's going to be even be prepared. more. Yeah. Call John. John, they can call you for this uh, coverage. Absolutely. We uh, we work with uh, uh, realtors. We work with real estate brokers, independent title and attorney agents, uh, lenders, property management firms, uh, all their business insurance, as well as we can help their clients with their personal insurance or those individuals auto, yeah. with their personal insurance, home, auto, wind, flood. Exactly. And how can they reach you? They can reach us at 866-798-2827. That's 866-798-2827. They can learn more about us at stewartinsurance.com or email us at stewartinsurance at stewart.com. And the Texas A&M hotline is? 866-798-2827. Thank you so much, John Bramlett. I appreciate it, Bill. Well, as we wind up the show, everybody's back now. Here he is, Charlie Kriegel, Win Hill Advisors. Welcome back, Charlie. Thank you for having me back. Well, here we are. Before we close the show, Charlie, what else do you want people to know about all the things you're doing? Wind Hill Advisors. Just, you know, keep us in mind if uh, you're moving into Texas, if you're moving out of Texas, if you're looking for investment properties, uh, anything real estate related, just need some advice on the market, any questions about real estate in general, feel free to reach out anytime. And I would think also if someone's in Houston and they want to move to the Dallas area or vice versa, you're in like a double 
way to help them, right? You're really giving them the coverage and the knowledge. Yeah, we have amazing agents in the DFW area that focus on Arlington, Fort Worth, Dallas proper, all of the tertiary markets there. And, uh, you know, home base is Houston here for me. You know, I just had a vision, Charlie. I haven't heard him talk about it. Maybe the project has been scrapped. But you remember years, two, one, two years ago, they were talking about having a train between Houston and Dallas. Is that is that still on the boards? It's still on the boards. I'm waiting patiently. But you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing the train with the Wind Hill advertisement on the side, huh? That's just a, that's just a vision I had. I don't I lo- know. I love huh? the idea. You know how I think. We've been I've been using <laughs> Vaughn Lane. If you guys haven't I traveled Vaughn Lane, it's it's the way to go. it's the way to travel. There you are, Wind Hill Advisors, Charlie Kriegel, and his wife Vanessa doing tremendous photography. We want to say hi to Vanessa. I, I want to say hi to Vanessa. Can yeah. I do that? Oh yeah, she's, she's awesome. Yeah. Let's tell people how they can reach you. Uh, you guys can reach me on my website, windhilladvisors.com or windhilladvisorskirby.com. I'll give you my cell phone if you have any personal questions. That's 832-496-2614. Again? 832-496-2614. Thank you so much, Charlie Kriegel. And now, Marad Ficke is back. Marad, welcome back. So, Marad, we did, uh, you said it be, between the break, but, but I do want to say this. Now, we talked about dogs. You have two dogs. Let's tell people mm-hmm. you, you, the names of the dogs and, and, and the, the type. Zane and Fluffy, they're both German Shepherds. If someone wants a German Shepherd, let me know. Oh. We'll uh, include it with your house. There you go. That's an extra bonus. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah, can buy yeah. a new water heater, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right? That's only for the first two. First two so. calls. All right, in the meantime, <laughs> yeah. we're closing the show. What else do you want people to know about what you're doing? Um, I mean, I'm just passionate about Houston real estate. I love what I do. Love to help you. Love to help your family. And not just that, the big thing on on my expertise is online, social media, SEO, my digital presence. Go ahead and Google me and you can check me out. Got a huge following. I'd love to help you get your property sold. Hit me up on your favorite social media platform, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, or even YouTube, I'd uh, love to meet up with you. And also HoustonLuxuryRealEstate.com. And the cell phone is 832-610-4290. Helping buyers and sellers. The phone number again is? 832-610-4290. That's HoustonLuxuryRealEstate.com. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. This is and great. he is back, Joe Navarro, Texans Water Heaters. Joe, again, this was a first water heaters on the show thank so let's you, tell people you. before honored, we sir. before we close i guess you're excited about 2023 no matter what happens in the economy <laughs> if your water heater is bad you got to get a new one everybody needs a water heater if it's that any, simple yeah if anybody's on the market for a water heater please give us a call at 713-364-4616 tankless or conventional water heaters we do it all anybody has questions um we're here to answer them the thank web, you so the, much the website is TexansWaterHeaters.com. TexansWaterHeaters.com. And they can call you at? 713-364-4616. 713-364-4616. Conventional or tankless water heaters. There you we go. do those, it all. Those tankless, I've had both, and they're they're both they're awesome. Great. I kind of favor Absolutely. the tankless. But in the meantime, thank you all for listening to Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title. I am your host, Bill Nampick, together with John Bramlett, Tom Carpentier, Justin Ramirez, and Larry Warren. We appreciate you listening. Simply go to Stuart.com forward slash radio. That's Stuart.com forward slash radio. That's right. You can see and hear this show. And also, you can go to our show archives at Stuart.com forward slash radio. For the last two plus years, super shows, super guests, each and every show. Thanks again for listening. We will see you next week. Same time, same place. Stuart.com forward slash radio. If you're a real estate professional, then listen closely. Cyber criminals are targeting our industry. They are impersonating real estate professionals, home buyers, sellers, and title agents. Their goal is to gain access to your inboxes, computers, and clients so they can steal information and funds. Does your business insurance offset these risks? Not sure? Contact Stewart Insurance to determine if your business is properly insured. Visit StewartInsurance.com or call 866-798-2827. Visit StewartInsurance.com or call 866-798-2827.